For all the accounting leaders out there, let me ask you this one question. Are you a farmer or are you a hunter? Hmm, that's a good question. We're accountants. A hunter would venture out into the wild, rifle in hand, ready to bring home food for the family. Whereas a farmer, on the other hand, will plant the seeds, take the time to let them grow into crops ready for eventual harvesting. When the leads stop coming through, when the referrals run drier than the Kalahari Desert during a dry spell, what do you do? What can you do? Well, you can panic for one, go out hunting for new clients, or you can start harvesting your crops of warm potential clients that you've nurtured over a longer period of time. When it comes to marketing your accounting firm to pull in potential clients, are you a farmer or are you a hunter? A large portion of Australian business owners are very heavily re reliant on their accountants at present or perhaps searching for a new one. So many accountants may not be short of client work for the next little while. But when it eventually starts to slow down and you may find your firm needing new clients, where do you turn to? What doors do you open? Are you going to push that marketing penny button? Stick around for this episode as we discuss why your firm should be more like the farmer. I'm Tyson Cobb, Brand and Marketing Advisor for Accounting Firms, and this is Practice Makes Perfect. For a lot of accounting firms, an industry that's so heavily reliant on referrals, like many other industries, their marketing looks a little like this. We're in a good position, billings are good, revenue is increasing, and then perhaps the referrals dry up and it slows down. Where are the leads at? You set meetings with your strategic referral partners, maybe even hold an event or two, send a few email newsletters perhaps. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Things are starting to look less grim. We're in a good position, revenue is steady, something else happens, it could be anything. And then it all slows down again. Where are the leads? And here we go again, lots of effort in a short amount of time that just drains the life out of you, quite possibly your team as well, and maybe even your marketing person if you have one. We've all been there, using marketing as the fire extinguisher to the burning pain of a hurting business, going out and finding new opportunities um, to keep the firm well fed, just as a hunter would venture out into the wild, ready to bring home the much needed food for the family. Sometimes the hunter is successful in their quest and is well fed. Some days the hunter will come home and left empty handed for and starved for the next few days. A farmer on the other hand, they'll plant the seeds, take the time to let them grow over a longer period of time. In the meantime, the farmer will be nurturing the crops, feeding them with water and treating them with care. He continues this process over and over again to the point he is always harvesting and he's never left hungry. Your firm should be more like the farmer, feeding the market with the information that they crave over a longer period of time, keeping the roots growing and keeping them wanting more. You should be marketing to your prospects on a regular basis, keeping them informed and engaged for longer. This adds value to the relationship, it builds trusts, trust and prepares your prospects or your crops to be ready for harvesting and this will soften the blow when that dip comes. There will always be room for that occasional panic button action, it can't be avoided sometimes, but you can soften the blow by implementing simple yet consistent marketing in your firm so that your growth shape looks less like this and a little more like this. Thanks for tuning in for this episode. Until next time, I'm Tyson Cobb, Brand and Marketing Advisor for Accounting Firms. I will speak to you next time on Practice Makes Perfect.